Morning guys. Out on my long run this morning and race day is fast approaching. Only two weeks to go. It's tapering after this. And uh, this final long run will be 28 kilometers. I've chosen a fairly flat route, heading down the canal again in Chesterfield, just to uh, minimize the stress at this point, try and keep myself injury free, ready for race day. So just a nice gentle trot, hopefully this morning. Now, if you've been following my training so far, you may recall that uh, I had agreed to run with Ashley and Phil, uh, two other running YouTubers. Uh, we all agreed to do the uh, race together and that was the original plan. Sadly, for different reasons, uh, Phil and Ashley have both had to drop out of the race and uh, yeah, I haven't been able to get the training in, get over illnesses in time and uh, yeah, it just wouldn't have been right for either of them to try and tackle it at this point. So, kind of running solo uh, as things stand after they've uh, decided not to do it. But uh, they've let me know in good time, so I'm well prepared to tackle it. Uh, studying the map a bit more, so given I won't have someone to run with and follow, navigation will be down to me. That was my, my only minor concern about uh, going solo. I'm feeling fit and ready to tackle the race at this point. So uh, getting round, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do. So after that, just a couple of days ago, Bill got in touch and said that him and Ashley have actually decided to uh, come down and see me on race day and see if they can help support me on the day. So they meet up with me at the start and uh, at various points along the route, give me some encouragement, see if I need anything and uh, yeah, keep me moving along. So yeah, it'll be my first ultra where I've had a crew. <laughs> it sounds uh, pretty highfalutin for someone like me, I'm running my second ever 50K. I told Phil I'll feel a bit like Sally McRae. <laughs> <laughs> with all the help on board but uh, yeah should be good I'm looking forward to it okay reached the halfway point 14 kilometers from home gets me to this spot on the Chesterfield Canal, not far from Old Whittington, and it's time to turn around and head back home. Always makes me smile when I think about being this far from home and having to make way back on foot. Before I took up running, if you'd planted me this far from home and said I had to make my way back, there's no chance I'd be doing it on foot. I'd be thinking about calling for a lift, getting a taxi, catching a bus into town and another one to North Wingfield. Anything but doing it on foot. But this morning kind of disappointed I don't get to go further along the canal before I turn around so yeah feels like a much better situation to be in you may have seen my video where I did my longest run of the plan uh, almost 38k in the end up in the Peak District doing the Edale Skyline route with Mornay uh, although I came out of that pretty much unscathed the only sort of injury related issue I had was a blister on my left big toe it was really painful for almost a week, I think. I could hardly bend my toe. It was right in the crease, uh, about halfway down my big toe. A uh, big red spot. It hadn't kind of come to the surface, but it was really sore. Uh, so I had to deal with that. Basically just being very careful with it, not running too much too soon, keeping it covered up and letting it heal. Uh, well, not covered up all the time, but uh, letting it heal and uh, figuring out how I was going to cope with that because it's the first time I've had that particular issue. I'm wearing the shoes that uh, I wore that day now 
and the shoes that I'll be wearing on race day. So today, to try to combat that issue, I've got Compede blister plasters on that bit and near the ball of my foot where my left foot tends to also get sore and blistered on a very long run. So with those two blister plasters in place, so far this morning it's I'd forgotten about it until a minute ago to be honest, so I think that's a good sign. And if it works today, I'll use the same tactic on race day. Funnily enough, my right foot, I've got just some uh, squirrels nut butter in the same area on that foot, but I don't really get a problem on that side. So I've obviously got some kind of uneven running style. But uh, yeah, I think I've got the cure for it anyway. See how we go at the end of this run. The other thing I did this morning, now I remember, is try the runner's knot in my Asics Trabuco Max 2 for the first time. Uh, I usually just have the normal lace set up in there, so yeah, trying the runner's knot just to stop my foot sliding forwards and backwards so much. So maybe that's helping as well. Right, finally made it back home. Took me just over three hours, so that was quite a decent pace for a 28k. Just need to remember that on race day in two weeks time I'll have to do it all over again to make 56k so uh, yeah that's something to look forward to but the taper starts properly now I've got two weeks of uh, calming things down letting the legs get ready for the race and then the big day will be here so hopefully I'll see you then <laughs>